Welcome to this complete beginner wood carving lesson. And I'm calling it a wood carving lesson today instead of a whittling lesson because today we're going to add an additional tool. Uh, instead of using just the knife, we're going to use the knife and a V tool. And if you're not familiar with the V tool, you can see my video introducing the, the V tools. Uh, and actually, I developed this process a couple years ago when I got a new V tool and I was just playing around with it. And my, my thought was, could I carve an entire face with just a V tool? And I can't quite do it. We're going to use the knife a little bit, but we're going to use the V tool to do almost all of this. This is a great practice activity for getting comfortable with and really working out your V tool. And you can do it quickly and simply. Uh, these are a lot of fun. You can do them quick. And as you can see, uh, you can finish them in all sorts of different ways. Uh, I find them a, a simple and fun project, uh, especially if I want to experiment with different paint techniques. Uh, it gives me something easy and quick that I can do with that. So, let me get those out of the way and make a, a quick note about size here. So, uh, I've been using uh, one by one pieces for the Complete Beginner series so far. I'm going to do this on a three quarter by three quarter by three inch piece on the right. This is just a fun little size, I think, um, but three quarter inch by three quarter inch might be a little bit harder for you to find. If that's the case, this will scale perfectly to a one by one by four. Uh, the proportions will be exactly the same, and I'm not going to talk about specific measurements, just um, uh, fractions and uh, proportions anyway. So you could follow along with a one by one by four. It'll just take a few more minutes and uh, be a little bit bigger, which is absolutely, absolutely fine. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Our learning goals for this project are uh, to carve a simple wood spirit in 15 minutes. And uh, our goals are that you will be able to carve a simple face and make clean cuts with a V-tool. And that's really what we're introducing here is how to use the V-tool and make clean cuts. Now, I'm making a strong assertion here, which is that you can carve this in 15 minutes. Our video is probably going to be a little longer than that because I'm going to explain it as we go. Um, but I do believe that you can do this if you practice just a little bit in about 15 minutes. I can actually do it in about uh, 10 minutes if I want to. Uh, but 15 minutes is a reasonable, attainable goal for these, I believe, if you're using the V-Tool and you um, learn the process. So, let's begin. Um, I'm starting with, again, this is a piece of 3 quarter by 3 quarter by 3 inch. Um, and I'm going to find about where the middle of that is about halfway up on one of these corners, and I'm gonna go kind of just below the middle, and that's, I'm gonna make a little mark, and that's where the bottom of my, bottom of my nose is gonna go, okay? So that's gonna line with about the bottom of my nose. I'm gonna start with my knife, and I'm gonna make a straight stop cut in, and carve up to that, and I'm undercutting where the nose is going to go. Now you can choose how deep to make this, but I would recommend you make it a little bit deeper than you probably think you need to because it'll get rounded out and that should be a pretty good depth there. I'm really going almost halfway across there, almost halfway across the um, the side, uh, the flat face of the side in order to get that width. So that's the first thing I'm going to do is just carve underneath the nose, carve that out. Next, I'm going to come in and I'm going to draw. Um, I'm going to draw in the lines where I want my eyes. And I'm going to make those lines about as wide as the nose, so about halfway across. And instead of going straight across, I'm going to angle them down just slightly for where the brow is going to be. And this is kind of marking where that brow line is going to be. Okay. Again with my. Uh, knife right now. I'm using my one and a half inch uh, deep holler knife, a great go-to knife right now. Um, I'm going to put in a stop cut straight into that line and then I'm going to go just underneath it and carve up to it at a little bit of an angle. I'm going to come down a little bit further and do that again. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. So I'm going to make my stop cut, being careful not to cut all the way across. It's probably a little safer to do it like this. I can rock into it that way without cutting all the way across the side of the face. And then I'm going to carve up to it. 
Now as I'm doing this, I want to make sure I keep this centered, and I don't really have to draw a center line because the the, the corner of the, the piece of wood is a center line. But what I want to do is watch that the lines that I'm making above the nose, that this angle coming in is staying in line with this corner above and this corner below. The other thing I want to do is make it level so I can see that this is coming down at a more shallow angle than this one. I'm just going to recut that a little bit to even those out. And I'm going to keep carving down a little bit further on the nose and a little bit further on the nose. Okay, but I'm trying to pay attention to that right side of the line and keep that in line with the corner above and below. Okay. And I'm going to do that uh, a few times until I've got a nice symmetric cut. I'm not going to go all the way down to the tip of the nose. I'm going to leave the tip um, angled like that. And I just want to make sure that I've got that ridge of the line going right up in the middle. Okay. So if this is going back, you know, about halfway through the face of the wood, this is probably going back at the deepest part here, about a quarter through to the, the side of the, the wood here. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to flatten this corner above the eyes, above the eyebrow here. I'm just going to flatten it out with a push cut and then I'm going to take that hard corner that I made and flatten that out. I'm going to extend that kind of all the way around the sides here if I can. And I'm just going to make a nice flat clean surface for the top part of that face. Okay. And what I'm doing there is I'm just kind of shaving off the the saw marks, the machine marks, making a completely fresh piece there. But I'm also rounding that off, and then that creates a nice profile for me there. Now the nose sticks out well, and then I'll have a little bit of a brow there. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip it around. I'm going to do a similar thing on the bottom. Under the nose, I'm going to cut this down, kind of straight, straight down, flat, and then I'm going to take that to the side like this. You'll see I'm breaking a little bit, which means I really need to be carving the opposite direction here. I don't get that breakage. And I'm going to carve right up underneath the nose like that. Okay, now I've round, rounded out that edge on the bottom side. And uh, the main thing is to kind of, um, we'll get it better in a little bit too, but uh, you want that nose to, to stick out like that, right? All right, uh, next thing we're going to do is try to carve the nose. So I'm gonna draw these lines on for you. I'm just gonna go a little bit out to the right at the top of the nose, outside the brow. I'm gonna draw a straight line down to the outside corner of where I stopped in undercutting the nose. I'm gonna do a similar line on the side. So I've got a roughly symmetric kind of trapezoid when viewed from the front for that. And this is we're going to start with a V-tool, but first I'm going to put in a stop cut. I'm going to put the tip of my knife in right at that corner, right along the eyebrow line. And I'm just going to stick it in, pull it out. It's going to give me a nice little stop cut. I'm going to do it on the other side as well. Stick it in and pull it out. It's going to give me a great stop cut. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my V-tool. Today I'm using a quarter inch. 60 degree V tool, but use what you have. A quarter inch would be a good size for this. If the angle is slightly different or whatever, that's fine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve along this line on the edge of the nose. I'm going to kind of tilt to the right just a little bit as I get up there and get cut up to that stop cut I put under the brow. So I'm going to carve right along the side on that line, right up to the brow. That stop cut was perfect. It popped right out. If you forget to do the stop cut, you can do it afterwards. Uh, just a little bit simpler to do it first. Same thing here. I'm going to carve right along that line, but then kind of tip to the left, straight into that. Now I've defined the outside edges of the nose. All right. So uh, a couple more knife steps now. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of round off the bottom corner of the nose. And to do that, I'm going to take the tip of my knife and put a little undercut right underneath that corner there. You can't even see that I cut anything out, but I'm just sliding the tip of my knife under the corner and then going at about a 45 degree angle, popping that right out of there. Okay. 
And there's a little bit of messiness there. I'm not going to worry about that right now because we'll actually address that in one of the later steps. Do the same thing on the other side, just a flat undercut under the corner there. And then pop off that hard corner at about a 45 degree angle like that. Okay, great. Uh, and then to finish my nose, I'm going to just do a straight stop cut on the front of the nose to flatten it a little bit. I'm going to do a few more cuts here. I'm going to do on the front, I've got a flat spot coming up here. I'm going to push straight up the front, not too deep. I'm just going to go straight up like that. I'm going to turn it to the side. I'm going to go one cut from the side up to the top. Turn it upside down and do a similar cut from the side. And what I'm doing is I'm getting rid of this hard line on the edge of the nose. So a very light, in this case a pull cut, right up on the side. Okay. That's pretty good. Um, and then uh, I'm going to just very lightly round off the bottom tip of the nose. You can easily spend a lot of time here, and this is where you could go from a 15 minute uh, wood spirit to like a 30 or 40 minute wood spirit. You could spend a lot of time here, but the purpose of this is to just be kind of a quick and easy one. So I'm just giving you a really down and dirty, quick and easy way to make a nose, okay? All right, next thing I want to do is finish the eyes. I'm going to use the knife for that, and then we're going to be down to almost just the V-tool for everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my knife back in the tip of the corner of the eye here under the brow, and I'm going to extend that stop cut so it goes from the eye further out to the side here. And then I'm going to go about halfway down the nose, and I'm going to cut up to that stop cut, okay? And one thing I forgot... I usually do first, but I'll do second here, is I'm going to add a little stop cut right along the inside edge of the nose, and that's going to make it easier for that piece to pop out. So remember, I just repeat those cuts. If it's not coming out, I'm going to repeat them until it does. Don't pry or anything like that. Perfect. I'll do that on this side. I'll remember to put my tip stop cut along the edge of the nose. I'm going to extend this stop cut under the brow out just a little bit, and then I'm going to go about halfway down the nose, and carve straight up to that until I pop that chip out for the eye. Okay, that's good. I accidentally made that a little deeper than the other one, so I'm just going to come back and make this one a little deeper, keep it as symmetric as I can. Good. And I'm going to do two more things to finish the eye. I'm going to add this stop cut. I'm going to extend the stop cut just a little further out, maybe halfway between there and the edge. And then I'm going to go if I went from halfway up the nose to here, I'm going to go come out to here and starting about a quarter of the way down the nose or halfway between where I started before in the top of the brow. And I'm just going to extend that out just a little bit, make it a little bit wider. Same thing on this side, like that. Okay, and then the last thing I'm going to do for the eyes is I want to make some nice deep holes for these inside eyes. So I'm going to take the tip of my knife, I'm going to poke it straight in here, alongside the nose, but under the brow. And then I'm gonna do the same one here to the right side, right under the brow. I'm just sticking the, the tip straight in. And then I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna carve, pull it up here, just a little triangle out here, really deep, deep as I can. And see how that creates a nice, just deeper shadow right in there where the eye socket would be. And that's all we're gonna do for the eyes, really simple. So I'll repeat the same thing on this side, those hard, deep um, tip cuts in the corners. Repeat those cuts as much as you need to to get that chip out. And then you've got those nice, deep eyes right there. Very good. All right, while I'm there, I'm just going to very lightly clean up the tip of this brow. Just very lightly, because I've got kind of a hard line there. Clean that up. Okay. Perfect. So that is my eye. All right. Next, uh, I'm going to make the last couple cuts that I'm going to actually use the knife for here. I'm going to put a stop cut right along this corner edge of the nose right here. And I'm just going to stick the tip of my knife in there. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Just the tip of the knife right along that corner. Okay. And next we're going to carve the mouth lines. So I'm going to draw those here. I'm going to have them come out a little bit and down. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, however you want to do this is fine. 
right out of that angle of the nose coming down like this. It's actually a little further down than I want, but that's okay. For the sake of clarity, I'll probably start about here. Okay, and then I'm going to take my V-tool again, and I'm going to carve right along those lines. And as I come into the nose, I'm going to lean to the left just a little bit, straight into that stop cut. Perfect. Same thing along here. I'm going to come up. This time I'm going to lean to the right a little bit, straight into that stop cut under the nose. Now, if you're new to using a V-tool, you're doing this very carefully. Um, if you're pushing too hard, you could easily pop off and lop off half of his nose. Um, and we don't want to do that. He wouldn't like it. You wouldn't like it. Uh, so be careful. If you have to make that cut a couple times, you can. You know, maybe make it a little bit deeper. Um, if you need to do it a couple times, that's that's fine. Okay. And then I am going to get my knife out here one more time. And I just like to soften this edge here. Watch the tip of your knife when you do this. So you don't dig, deep in, dig too deep into that smile line. Pull those off. Okay, good. And that got a little bit messy, so I'm just going to come back here and clean it up just a touch. Okay, and I've got a couple extra lines here that's just extended down underneath the nose there just a little bit. So I'm just going to redo that undercut, pull those out, clean it up as I go there. All right, so let's add the smile next then. Um, and what I'm going to do is just kind of draw a smile from one side to the other. And we'll do that about like this. Okay. I find the easiest way to do this is to start at the bottom with your V-tool horizontal and to cut and then curve up as you go into that corner of the, the smile line. Then turn it around and do the other way, horizontal, and then curve up. This is an example where anytime you're doing a curved cut with the V-tool, you might want to do it a couple times to make it clean. And that's pretty simple. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look, and I'll mark it with my pencil so you can see it, but um, I'm going to look about halfway between that smile and the nose, and I'm going to draw just a little line perpendicular to the mouth line, right there and right there. And then I'm going to use my V-tool and just put a little notch right there and another one right here and extend that back maybe just a little bit more what that's going to do is just give me a nice little cheek line there we go good okay all right next step is going to be the eyebrows and so you can do these a number of different ways, but I'm going to make these nice and tall so you can see them good, and then have them come down here, right about in line with the, the edge of the nose, come straight up, and then have them come out and taper down to the end of the eye area as I've defined it here. And I'm going to attempt to draw a roughly symmetric one on the other side. Now, if you have multiple V-tools, this is where you might get a small one out. A micro tool might be really helpful for making these lines, but I'm going to do this all with one V-tool just so you can see that I can. I don't want to make deep cuts here. I want to make a light cut here. So I'm just going to very lightly with my V-tool, just barely in, follow that line carefully and slowly. See how slowly I'm going so that I can control that curve and come down and so I don't run off it. And there's one. And do the same thing on the other side very shallow cut again if you have a micro tool or a smaller one maybe an eighth of an inch or one or two millimeter that would work well here but i can do it with a bigger one just a little bit more carefully like that and then next i'm going to make similarly shallow lines i'm going to start right at the corner here and i'm going to go at about a 45 degree angle back and make one line and then I'm going my goal is to make three cuts here so I'm gonna go about another third of the way across and then another and make those three lines perfect same thing on the other side about a 45 degree angle and I'm gonna do one two three great all right 
So that is, oh, we forgot the edges of the nose. Let's do that real quick. And then we're going to do the, then we're going to do the eyes. Um, the last thing we missed here are these little notches on the sides of the nose. And we can do those, you guessed it, really simply with our V tool. So I'm just going to mark in a spot really right above, um, right, well, right about in line with where I started cutting up to the eye is where I'm going to put that, maybe just beneath it. Okay, and then the easiest way to do this is to undercut the nose and tip of my knife right under the side of the nose there. Tip of my knife right under the side of the nose there. And then I'm going to use my V-tool straight in on each of these lines. There you go. Cut off that corner of the nose and cut off this one. Okay. Now again, you could uh, spend a lot of time here um, playing with the shape of that, and I'm just giving you a really basic way to start it. Okay. So if you want to come back here and make this a little narrower above that, or make these deeper, or round them off, you, by all means, feel free to do so. But this is the the quick way to do it, and there's so many ways you could turn this into the one hour uh, wood spirit. But um, that's it. All right. So the last thing we're going to do is obviously the most fun part, which is going to be carving the hair. So uh, uh, I do, you know, more complex wood spirits like this, where I really try to make sure that I carve every inch and, you know, every corner is, is, is rounded and I spend a lot of time making sure that's even. But what I'm really going for in this case is something that's clear and simple and actually leave some flat surfaces in between. Uh, because when I paint and finish it, those surfaces give me nice, uh, nice depth. So I'm going to show you with a pencil, although I don't normally use one, right above the left brow, um, how I'm going to do this. What I want to do is make kind of a, a, a wave. And I'm going to start by going to the right, actually curve back to the left, and then back up. I'm going to make kind of a, a wavy line. I don't want straight lines, and you're going to have to fight the grain to make a wavy line. Now, I can do that by being really short and careful the first time. Okay, there's a good first cut. But really, I want to make a nice deep cut. So I'm going to come back, I'm going to follow the same line, and make a deeper cut. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, now I'm going to come over to the right here a little bit. I'm going to do a similar thing, but I'm going to kind of swerve off and then go up to the right. And the main thing is I don't want parallel lines here. I want to leave separation. So they're closer together at the bottom and more wide apart at the top. So I'm going to do a similar thing here. I'm going to curve off to the right and then up. And I'll do this a couple times to make a nice deep cut. Okay. I'm doing this intentionally so that I have these closer together on the bottom and a big wide gap on the top. And what that does is it gives me space on the top to come up right in here and add another deep one, kind of more or less straight up, but maybe curve it a little bit like that. Now, what you might get is something like this uh, because your V tool is cutting uh, against the grain on one side and with the grain on the other side. So if I turn it around and kind of run along this edge, I can clean that edge up a little bit. So you might want to do that as you go through. If you get any spots where it's kind of breaking, um, come back and redo that. You can kind of tilt your tool to the side and make clean cuts that way. Okay. Now, I'm going to come back over here to the left, and I'm going to go just a little bit to the left of that. And I'm going to come up, and I'm going to curve off to the side this time. I've got to watch my finger there, even though I have my glove on, because that might pop off. Okay. Good. And now I've got this big flat area, so I'm going to just come in the middle of there, Put a nice big one right there. Okay. Same thing over here. This is going to be more or less just straight off to the side. Here's another one straight off to the side. And see, I'm going kind of back and forth um, like that. I'm going to do another one just um, between the eyes and the cheeks going kind of down. Same thing here. I've got some space underneath here. I'm going to do a similar one like that. And like that. And then for the beard underneath the mouth, I'm going to do similar to what I did on top. I'm going to start down here. I'm going to curve one way, back the other way, and then come down flat. I'll do a similar thing out here. 
you can you can experiment with this and obviously have fun doing different shapes. What I'm trying to do is create closer together near the bottom and spread out at the top because that gives me the opportunity to put these extra cuts in there and separate them. So I can do that down here too. Just put an extra cut in there. And don't let's just go down the middle. See how I kind of just go to the side there. That's going to just make it a little bit more a little bit more interesting. I've got a wide flat area here, so I'm going to add a cut like that. And maybe one more on this side. Okay. Now, one thing that I do like to do real quickly is just kind of go up and down these sides and clean them up with my knife. And what I do is I just add a little cut to the top of that and then down to kind of clean those up. Sometimes they get a little messy. But what it does is it makes this nice effect of the hair just kind of tucking up behind as it goes up. It gives a little bit of a more interesting um, profile when you look at it from the front to see those sides like that. And then I flip it around and going downwards I do the same thing. Okay, and that allows me to get a clean line there and just gives me that more interesting uh, texture on the sides of the, of the carving. So that's optional, but I feel like it's a nice simple way to add a little bit more interest. All right, now we're almost done. That's the large pieces of hair. The last step is going to be add small lines between these. So you can see that on here. Um, and again, if you had a smaller V-tool, um, you could use that to do these ones where you go basically along the flat surfaces. I'm gonna use this one just again to show you that you can do it all with one tool. Um, but let's do this. Now, this is a little wide up at the top for two lines. So I'm gonna start in the middle. I'm gonna hang kind of to the right. I'm doing a shallow shallow cut here like we did on the eyebrows. And then I'm gonna kind of curve up. But I'm going to the right so that I've got this little bit of extra spot here. And I feel like I can add another little line there. Okay, perfect. Now I can go up the middle here and I'm gonna decide as I come up here, am I gonna to go to the right or to the left? I'm just gonna choose to go to the right and follow this flat area all the way up. But then I'm gonna pick up here and do a similar thing to the left. I kind of hung to the side of it there so I've got a little bit of space to do another one like that. Okay. On this one, maybe I'll go to the left first. Now I've got a nice space here for this and going up to the right. Okay, so I'm trying to avoid parallel lines where I can and just kind of filling in. If I stay on one side, that gives me space to do another line on the other side. And I can keep those curved kind of following along with the larger lines I put in. Now here, it'd be really tempting to do just like two parallel lines on here. But I'm going to show you what I'll do instead is... Um, I'm going to do one where I come up uh, a little bit further back like this, okay, and that left me enough space to do that one there, and a little tiny one here, okay, and that just allows me to fill it up in a way that's not quite completely parallel. Um, on this one, what I'll do is I'll go kind of more straight out there, and then it allows me to fill that one in there and this one in here. So I'm looking for little ways that I could fill it in with some shorter lines, but they don't necessarily have to be parallel. Now these are kind of smaller, so I'm just going to do kind of one short one on each side in these little spaces. And I'm going to follow a similar pattern down here. So I've got really only room for one line on this. And do that. Similar over here. And do that. And now I've got a space, flat space for a small line there. I can also do this. Okay. I'm going to start here and we'll go to the left on this one. And then we'll do one to the right here. Okay. I've probably got room for two lines here. So I'll do one off to the right, one down to the left, and actually we've got room for an extra little one there on the corner like that. Okay, and that's it. Um, you, you might want to come back and clean up some of these lines just a little bit if you need to. 
Um, if you find that your cuts are tearing a lot as you go through, um, you can uh, take a minute to strop your knife. But that's it. Super simple. I know we spent about a half hour doing that. You practice this, you can easily do it in about 15 minutes. Um, here's uh, one of the painted ones. And um, my favorite method for painting these is to put a, a, a watered down paint on them. And then after it dries to use an antiquing solution, which will give you those nice dark shadows in the corners. Um, I'll probably follow this up with a video on how to do that, but not today. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and have fun making these faces. Happy whittling.